Hello, thank you for joining me here at Why the Book Wins. My name is Laura and today is another book collection video. So today I am sharing the books that I own that have been signed by the author. And I will preface this with saying that I haven't met any of these authors. So it's not like I met them in person and chatted with them as they signed my book. So I don't have any cool stories with any of these. It's literally just me showing you books that I found on eBay or Abe books that have been signed by the author. And I actually do have quite a few. So that is pretty exciting even if I didn't get to meet the author in person. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below sharing if you have any books that are signed by the author, especially if you actually met the author because that makes it, I think that makes it more special obviously, but yeah, and then check out my other book collection videos that I have posted through, you know, the last year and a half or so. But I'm going to start with my two Jeff Vandermeer books, which have been signed. So Jeff Vandermeer was one of my favorite authors in 2021. That is when I first started reading his books and I fell in love with them. They are so weird and so unique, just so well written, great world building and it's, ma it's magical realism, also sci-fi depending on the book. And yeah, I just love his books. So so much. But the first one I have that is signed is this copy of Drayden in Love. So Drayden in Love is a short story, obviously, and it was published on its own, as you can see, and then it was later added to the collection of City of Saints and Mad Men. But it was originally just published on its own. And so, wow, I literally accidentally just tore a page from this book as I was trying to flip the cover. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> this one is signed in 1996 and he has that funny cat picture that he drew on there. So yeah, so this is a fun one. I'm bummed that I just ripped a page out of this book, but anyway, it's just the title page, I guess. And then the next book I have that is signed by Jeff Vandermeer is Acceptance, which is the third book in the Southern Reach trilogy. By the way, he's writing another one. So soon there will be a fourth book in the Southern Reach. But this one, so Midtown Reader is a library in Florida near where Vandermeer lives and you can request a copy of one of his books that he signs and you can like tell him what to, who to inscribe it to basically. So this one is made out to me cause I ordered it to be signed for me, but it's cool that it's like inscribed with my name. But again, I didn't meet him. I just ordered it online to have him sign it for me, but it's still pretty cool. So that is his signature there. If you can read it, it says biologist says hi from somewhere, <laughs> which you will understand if you've read the book. And I have shared this signature before. I, I forget what video it was, but. Up next is Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. And by the way, I would recommend both of those books by Jeff Vandermeer. City of Saints and Mad Men is where Drayden and Love is now, where that's where you can read it. Highly recommend that book. It's a series of short stories all taking place in the city of Ambergris. And then the Southern Reach trilogy, I absolutely love, highly, highly recommend. Annihilation and Acceptance, the first and third book. I love those two so much. Authority is the middle book, that's probably my least favorite, but that one is still really good. And the whole trilogy you should read. Anyway, then Night Bitch by Rachel Yoder. This is a first edition signed copy. I read this one last year in February, almost a year ago now. Here is her signature, by the way. But yeah, I loved this one a lot. I want to give it a reread because I, when I read it in the moment, I was obsessed with it and I loved it. And now as time has gone on, I'm like, I wonder if I would like it as much as I did at that point, right? Because some books are just like situational or just, I don't know. So I think I want to read it again and see if it is as good as I remembered it being. But it is weird, but it is also just very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Empowering. And it's a great look at motherhood. Not that I'm a mother, but still I thought that was really interesting. Motherhood, womanhood. And it's about a woman who is turning into a wolf <laughs> and just uh, that whole experience. And she has a son who is two years old and yeah. Anyway, so it deals with motherhood in a very unique way. And then up next is one of my favorite memoirs. I read this one in 2021 and I want to read it again this year because I loved it so much in 2021. And that is Another Bullshit Night in Suck City by Nick Flynn. This memoir is absolutely incredible. It's about a guy who, when he's a kid, his dad leaves and his dad ends up like going to prison and different stuff. But he has like a letter relationship with his father th through the years where his dad will write to him but he lives with his mom. And then when he is older, he reconnects with his dad when he is working at a homeless shelter and his dad comes in because he's homeless and needs a place to stay. And so it is about him reconnecting with his dad who is an alcoholic and then he himself struggles with addiction. And so it was just so well written, so powerful. And then there's stuff that happens with his mom as well. I don't know. I don't remember if it's like a spoiler to say, so I'll just leave that out. But I will just say, if you like memoirs and you like stories about addiction and you like stories about estranged parents, 
parents and reconnecting with said estranged parents and what it's like to have a relationship with someone who has an addiction plus you yourself has an addiction and it deals with homelessness. And if you like The Glass Castle, you should definitely read this one because I think this is even better than The Glass Castle, but I love The Glass Castle too. But these two books definitely have some similarities. Anyway, I ordered this. I think this was through Thrift Books actually, which Thrift Books, I don't like buying from them because sometimes the book arrives and it doesn't have the dust jacket and they're not as detailed with the picture. So you don't know for sure what edition it is sometimes. And this one, I just lucked out that it had the dust jacket. It's first edition and it's signed. So I got lucky there. But yeah, this was signed in 2004. It's made out to someone named, uh, I actually can't tell the name is made out to, but someone met him and had him sign this copy and then through the years they got rid of it for some reason but uh it worked out for me because now I have this amazing signed copy. Up next is a book that needs no introduction and that is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Yes I have a first edition copy. Very proud of that because this book sold out like before it was even released it was already sold out essentially. So I went on eBay of course and not only did I get a first edition but this one is also signed by McCurdy. And we have this certificate of authenticity. And uh, here's her signature, very simple. <laughs> but yeah, of course, this memoir is amazing. You guys have already heard everybody on YouTube and Bookstagram talking about this, but incredible memoir about a girl who was raised by a mom who had mental instabilities and forced her daughter into showbiz and just everything that ensued. And just her own personal issues with not only the stuff with her mom, but also her eating disorders and the drama. Drama almost downplays it, but just um, like how toxic the her work environment could be at times as a movie star, as a you know Nickelodeon star. But yeah, fantastic memoir. Again, this is definitely one I would want to reread. The audiobook is amazing. I would highly, highly recommend the audiobook. And yeah, I'm so proud to own a first edition signed copy of this rare book. And now on to my Easton Press books because Easton Press sometimes does signed editions. And my first one is this signed edition of Shutter Island by Dennis Lahan. Lahain? I'm never sure how to say his name. Like I've looked it up and then I forget how it is you're supposed to say it but anyway Shutter Island is amazing absolutely love this book and here is his signature right there but yeah this is one of those leather books that is just so soft and I just love the feel of it and I love the color sometimes or not the color the cover sometimes Easton Press has like kind of generic book covers where they're like different designs but they're all just kind of a design whereas this one obviously actually applies to the book with the lighthouse but yeah highly recommend this it is a thriller it is a uh, you know it's one of those books that has a twist like a reveal at the end and I went into this book already knowing the reveal and I still loved it so even if you're like oh I already know the ending so because I've seen the movie so I don't want to read the book still read the book <laughs> the book and movie are both so good like the two of them just are such a great combination I absolutely love both and just because you've seen the movie do not disregard the book you should still check it out and read it then we have my signed Easton Press edition of Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn so this book I read in 2021 absolutely absolutely loved it. I knew one of the reveals in this book, like the main reveal I knew, but like everything else about the story, I did not know. <laughs> and I did not know the ending. And so even though I knew the reveal that happens partway through, I still love this book so much. Highly, highly recommend. Again, this is one of the, those Easton Press books where the cover is just like a design and I wish it had something more specific to the book. The side of it has these silhouettes of a man and a woman, so that's cool. But, but yeah, anyway, so happy to own this one. Here is Flynn's signature. Yeah, incredible book. Looking forward to rereading this at some point. I'm not in a rush to reread this one, but I just love it. You know, it's about a marriage. And so just, I do love the commentary on marriage. Obviously this is like an extreme example, right? And it's a thriller and it's a mystery kind of, but I just loved reading this. I couldn't put it down. I think I would qualify it as a slow burn, I would say, but yeah, so good, so well written. And it just gives you so much to think about. So I just loved the commentary she was making. And then I have two books that that are signed by Joyce Carol Oates. The first one being my Franklin Library edition of Blonde. So this one again is cool because we have that Marilyn Monroe silhouette right there. I bought this one when I was like, I had just started Blonde. I was probably less than a quarter of the way through, but I was just loving it and I loved Oates writing style. So when I was like a quarter of the way through is when I bought this book, even though, like I've said many times, I have mixed feelings about this book, but at the end of the day, I did really, really like it. It is incredibly written. Joyce Carol 
Carol Oates is very talented. She's a great writer. And yeah, despite some of my complaints, I did think this was just a fantastic book. Anyway, that is her signature. Very simple, but I like it. And then we also have this is my newest purchase. So when I bought this book is when I decided to make a video like this. And this is a first edition copy of We Were the Mulvaney's. I read this book last month, absolutely loved it. And again, there is her signature. But yeah, I feel like I've talked about this one so much in the last week or so because my December wrap up, my best books of uh, 2022, I guess it's just those two videos. But I talked about it a lot in uh, my December wrap up because this was one of the four books that I was trying to decide between as far as which one was the best of the year. So I feel like I've talked about it a lot just in this last week so I hope you're not tired of me talking about it but anyway incredible book about the Mulvaney family who experiences something that changes them all and changes their dynamic and they lose their standing in the community and yeah it's a tough read but it is so well written so vivid I absolutely loved it and I was sucked in from page one and I'm so excited that I found a first edition signed copy by Joyce Carol Oates so yeah that is all the books I own that are signed by the author I of course would love to get a signed Stephen King edition. Maybe one of these days I will splurge and do that. So that would be a cool one to add. It would also be cool to actually meet an author and have them sign it in person. I actually in 2019, I read 26 Marathons by Meb. I forget his last name, but it's kind of hard to say. Anyway, he's a marathon runner and he I read his book 26 Marathons and I absolutely loved it. I listened to the audiobook though. And then I got to meet him at the San Diego Marathon Expo and I had him sign my running bib. At the time I thought that was a really cool idea and it is. But now that I'm a book collector, I'm wishing I had him sign the actual book. Oh well, <laughs> that's the only person that I've like met in person and had them sign something and I was able to chat with them briefly. So that was really cool because he is an amazing runner and his books are amazing. I've read two of them, but anyway, yeah, I don't actually own those books though, but that's the only story I have of getting something signed in person. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.